I'm still here, fellas. I got parked at 11 o'clock. Pretty big TA. Got a crazy amount of reserve spots. They had a good amount of free spots. But y'all know I'm not paying for parking, man. So a lot of this, about half of it is uh, blindside barking. Uh, blindside barking. <laughs> blindside parking. So yeah, I found the spot. What are you doing? Yeah, the other, the other way. Oh yeah, you can get out if you go all the way around. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You we asked me to the loop all the way around. Well, yeah. What was I saying? Uh. Yeah, so I got parked at 11.30, man. I ain't gonna have drive time. I could do a split. I should have like three hours or something left on my clock. Uh, so if I do a split, I have a good amount of time tomorrow, man. But I got 400 miles to go. It's probably gonna be seven hours by the time you calculate traffic. It might be seven and a half. So that'll be all my time burn up. I ain't gonna be able to deliver, to deliver tomorrow, uh, four two. I don't know, I might get there. <laughs> I might get there about four or five o'clock, so. It is what it is, man. Good thing I delivered them shingles just, uh, what was it, yesterday? Them shingles was basically two days worth of pay, man. So uh, I got a good amount off that. But other than that, man, I'm just going to take it easy. Uh, hey, I'm still here. I'm still here smiling. Hey, I ain't letting it stress me out. Sometimes it is what it is. I just charge it to the game, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I get with y'all in the morning. Uh, I got this long walk man way i'm about to part way in the corner uh you see how long this way down there man i had to walk from way back there and i still got to go around the corner to the left right there where the trees at i'll part all the way at the end spot over there so <laughs> it is what it is hey, i'll get with y'all players tomorrow man y'all next morning y'all uh that's my load all strapped up. <laughs> I said let me finish tarping it up last night, but that's it, man. It pretty, like I said, it did a pretty good job tarping it, man. Uh, yeah, I got an old Benson and two old tarps, man. It's old school time right now for me. <laughs> it's all good, man. Like everything, it ain't got no holes in it. The holes been patched up on it. So, yeah. They got a hole right there patched up. It's a, it's a lot of holes on there. It's patched up. Only thing I don't really like having two, di uh, two different tarps with two different um, the D rings is uh, offline on. You know what I'm saying? See the burgundy line is pretty much where the D rings is off. I think this back tarp is real old. You can't even see the TMC on it no more. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. That's it, man. I told you I got 400 miles. Uh, <laughs> no worries, no hurries. As I heard ABT say, no worries, no hurries, man. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna just, hey, just keep grinding. Hey, I ain't worried about, you know what I'm saying, being in a rush. I parked there. I, they got parking, so I just parked there. I'll probably get unloaded tomorrow morning. Or well, if I'm lucky when I get there, somebody might feel good about themselves and unload me, but. By the time I get there, I know I ain't gonna get another load. So like I said, I ain't really in no hurry, man. But yeah, man, that's what we're doing today. Just trying to get to the stop. We ain't worried about delivering because ain't no way possible. Going through all that, you know what I'm saying? Baltimore traffic, uh, DC traffic. Yeah, it's gonna be right next to uh, Washington. So yeah, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be traffic, man. Going through, going back across the uh, GW Bridge. This is gonna be jam packed with traffic the whole freaking way, man. But it is what it is. Hey, I get back with y'all fellas in a little bit, man. I'ma relax a little bit before I leave. But uh, yeah, man. Hey, get back with you. Well, it's that time, boys. Let's get in traffic, y'all. Well, y'all stopped to get some fuel here at a pilot in Connecticut. Uh, 
I, I'm for sure <laughs> this trailer had two freaking mud flaps, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to take one off the front axle and put it on the back one, man. Uh, yeah, it's just too noticeable, especially with them white uh white mud flaps. Maybe like <laughs> a freaking Target. He ain't got no mud flaps, so I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to switch them out, man. Maybe I overlooked it when I picked up this trailer. Maybe I just overlooked it. I don't know, man. But what the freak, man? How the heck I'm missing a dang mud flap? I didn't park at no uh last night. I didn't park on no uh where a curb was or that, man. I'm missing a mud flap. I would have noticed that. That was the first thing I noticed when I walked back here. So yeah, it looked like it might have been kind of loose. I don't know. But uh, maybe they didn't have it through the holes or something. I'm just have to take this uh this front one off. Cause it's got new mud flaps, so I'm pretty sure they replaced that one too. This old Benson been uh got a lot of new stuff on it, man. Brake chambers, new. So I know it's been serviced. I know it's got a. Uh... No, they didn't miss that, man. And I couldn't have missed that when I picked this trailer up. Ain't no way, man. Hey, but I get back with you. All right, we're back in DOT rig, man. That one is a little. <laughs> this one right here is a little bit shorter than that one, as y'all can see, man. What? <laughs> hey, but I'm back in DOT rig, though. I took that one off. I replaced. I put the bolts and stuff back on there. So they still have all the parts for it when they service it and put another mud flap on it. But uh, it's all I use, man, right here. I just use this right here. You can use a 716, but 11 millimeter is uh the right fit for it, man. That's all I use this and uh these uh grip pliers, but vice grips, whatever. So yeah. Yeah, man, get y'all some tools, man. You don't want to be riding down the road and can't change your mud flap. It ain't gonna take you for five minutes and that'll save you a ticket to BOT. Going through the way station or riding in the state or whatever, man. A little bit of tools uh, helps out along the way, man. I got another set, other little stuff. I actually uh went to deliver like to a residential place and a, another a guy, a guy gave me some tools too. I mean, I really didn't need him, but he gave them to me, man. He was such a nice guy. Uh, I think it was in Tennessee or somewhere. I don't know. I can't remember. Might have been in Alabama. I can't <laughs> I can't remember, but uh, yeah, man. So I got that fixed. I'm going to go get me something to eat. Like I said, I ain't in a rush, man. No worries, no hurries. Give me something to eat. Use the bathroom. And uh, yeah, man. We'll take it from there. Get back with you. Look at all these crows, man. Y'all see all these crows tearing that trash up. They all in that trash. Look at them, man. We're getting all in that trash, man. <laughs> all right, ladies and sellers. Uh, I'm here somewhere in New... Uh, hell, no, nah, I'm still in New Jersey. I got about, uh, I don't know, two two hours and 45 minutes or something. Less than three hours to go, man. Uh, I'm going to stop and get me a shower because I'm going to go ahead and park there. They got parking. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I've just been relaxing, man. <laughs> Easy does it. I said, I'm just going to give me a shower right quick before I um, go to the stop the night. And yeah, man, like I said, I just been taking it easy. Got me something to eat earlier. Fixed my mud flap. Everything, all the dots is in line. They connected. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully I get uh, unloaded first thing in the morning. And yeah, man, I was stressing out yesterday, last night, man. But uh, you got to think about it, man. Some stuff you ain't got control over. So uh, yeah, man, just roll with it uh i i won't say roll with anything that's thrown your way but uh for the most part something you ain't got control over hey don't even stress yourself about it you know what i'm saying ain't no point i could have drove real far well not real far but i had about close to three hours uh left to drive last night but uh me calculating i'm like i'm not gonna be able to make it there at two so it really ain't worth driving through the night like that and then chancing and not being able to find parking, uh, going to three or four truck stops just to find parking, and then you might have to get creative and not even be in a spot. It might get hit or might get a ticket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I stopped at that big TA. Uh, after that, it really wasn't too much that I was probably, I was thinking I was guaranteed to get a spot. Uh, on Trucker Path, it says that TA, uh, uh, if I listed the name uh, of the city I was in at that TA, it says it's, they charge the park 
but uh in the beginning it's got like slots you drive through to get inside like it's like a, a gate or you grab a ticket uh they don't charge the park not at least you in a reserve spot just like any other ta pilot flying j uh petro you know what i'm saying so uh if y'all ever go to that if y'all if y'all use struggle path or it, whatever app y'all use if y'all go to that ta and it says they charge for parking uh as of right now they're not charging for parking uh so yeah um yeah you can go there and park for free unless you park in reserve and it's, pre it's a pretty good uh it's a pretty big place to park so yeah man hey no hurries no worries hey uh, my hey my daddy always told me man hey be careful walk slow and look good baby that's what i'm gonna do for the rest of the week hey and don't worry about it don't stress get back with you welcome back fellas thursday i cut my last video short man i, don't like, <laughs> I didn't want to make it too long so yeah man it's uh like 6 a.m i'm in uh waldorf waldorf <clears throat> maryland l and w supply first one on the line i parked here overnight I stopped and got me a shower and stuff before i went here yeah man it's been, it's been a rough week for me man um we see what the day brings maybe i can get a load early i have drive time in like five minutes so that ain't re really a big deal if i gotta leave i need to go ahead and get this thing unstrapped man uh i can't take the top off right now until i get ready to get it loaded a little bit after six maybe they uh it ain't gonna matter if they take me in early or not i ain't gonna have no uh, load and i might i don't know i might can wait for a load i might can sit back there and wait for a load i don't know man i'll see hey i get back with you though <music> I'm done, man. Uh, I had the time putting that dang on tarp up, man. The colder it get, the harder it is to fold up. Y'all flat better than know how it is, man. I had to rustle to get it in that what? headache rack, but uh, I got it in there. Yeah, it was almost impossible, but I banged and beat it, kicked it, hit it with my shoulder and got it in there. Better go get checked in now. Well, 7.40 and we wait. <laughs> yeah, man, I got unloaded before it's eight o'clock, so uh i'll just sit here and relax i know i have to wait for a little bit uh hopefully i'll go to baltimore man i think that's the closest thing i'm to yeah get some of them cheap freaking shingles out of baltimore man probably going to charlotte or somewhere in north carolina they got a lot of loads going to different places in north carolina but it's cheap as crap man so i already missed the load i might get this cheap freaking load it is what it is players <laughs> i was pulled all the way up there uh it's like you can pull on the sides like i got rocks right here so you won't be on the grass and i ain't in the road or nothing so uh i was right there i had pulled up farther i was right there in front of that camera like looking right in my face so i backed up and i guess the property stopped right here anyway so uh, i ain't want to be on nobody property and they got a camera right there in my face so yeah man uh if i need to move i'll move i, I got time i can move but uh other than that, man, I'm gonna sit here and chill and uh, watch some videos and wait for a load, baby. Get back with you. Well, just like I freaking thought, <sighs> shingles out of Baltimore. It's chilly in Maryland. Going to Lowe's uh, distribution place there in Thomasville, North Carolina. Uh, I got an appointment at 9 a.m., so that ain't too bad. I'll probably get there like 7 in the morning or something. Go ahead and unstrap or whatever. But yeah, man. <laughs> exactly what I thought. I got like 60 miles. It's gonna take me like an hour and a half of traffic. Yeah, man. I'll see y'all when I get the gas, baby. Back again for the 5100 time here in Baltimore. Uh, hey, we in good shape today, boys. Hey, we only uh, three trucks in the line. So, hey, I went on Superbird just in case. But yeah, man. Hey, we in here. <laughs> Should be quick and fast today, baby. Let's see if this TMT driver needs some tools to change his mud flap. He done lost one like me. I'm gonna ask him to see if he needs some help. Uh, if I could change it right here, it's gonna take me five minutes. I'll ask him what I got uh, when I get done using the bathroom. Well, I asked him, uh, 
he didn't seem too concerned about it. So hey, I said, look, I'm, I'm just offering the help. I said, if you if you don't want to change it right now, uh, hey, that's up to you, man. I just I said I just don't want you to get no ticket. I had to change mine the other day, but it is kind of a bad spot to uh, try to change a mud flap before they the four lift driver be beeping for you to come on. But I told him I said if they uh, come over here before um, we get the mud flap changed, uh, I just meet you over there and get my tools back or whatever. And uh, I said I mentioned it again. He had like he ain't really too concerned about it. So I said all right. I mean that's, I said that's up. I'm just making it making it clear that it's up to you now. I'm not telling you you need to change it. I'm just offering the help. You know what I'm saying while I'm here. Well, me and him we can probably get it done in about three or four minutes. But uh, yeah, I guess he said uh, he'll meet me over there. I guess. I mean, but if he get gone before I get over there, because I don't know when they're going to call him. I'm probably going to be one of the last ones. Uh, we got four TMC drivers. This driver and the one on the end is before me. The one in the middle just pulled. Well, that ain't, that ain't even TMC. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's TMC. Yeah, that TMC pulled in behind me. And then it's another uh, CRTS, CRST, I meant, uh, day cab over there. And uh, he's, this driver right here. There's another driver beside me that's before me. So, uh, yeah, one of them other TMCs got a mud flap that's tore up right there, too. Well, on the front axle, it's hanging off. But, I mean, that ain't a big deal because you really don't need those. But, uh, yeah, man, I just offering the help. <laughs> Hopefully, I get up out of here. I uh, don't have to take no two-hour Super break. See how much I got. Uh, two hours and um, 15 minutes before my uh, work duty catch up with my drive time. So I might get a two hour sleep break break in. Just, just depends, man. The dude coming over here, he might want he might want to go ahead and change it. <laughs> See what he want. So we got that sucker on there. It ain't take about three or four minutes. Um, he from North Carolina too, man. <laughs> Had to help my North Carolina buddy out. Now, I, I don't care where he go for. He could have been from a freaking uh, Zimbabwe. <laughs> I still would have helped him out. But uh, yeah, yeah, he got him a mud flap on there. He ain't got no, got to have no worries sweating when he go through a, uh, a way station or whatever. So, hey, he good, man. 1124. Knocking at your door. Getting loaded. Ready to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Go straps and roll, baby. Yes, sir. Get up out of here. Give me a good 25 minutes, you know, give me a little lunch break and I have a uh, lockdown and ready to go, baby. Let me go get my paperwork so we can hammer down North Carolina. Yes, sir. What's up, fellas? Man, I parked probably about, uh, I don't know about a little after 10. Y'all already, already know how these shingles go, man. <laughs> I just always show it just in case somebody didn't watch me. Don't, uh, I never seen them or never did them, so. Two at the back. Put the one, one across the ones in the middle. Edge protectors. Two on the front with an egg strap. Like I said, y'all know how these go. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm only about uh, 10 miles away from where I need to be. I probably get there like 7, um, 7.40 or something, like 8 o'clock, I don't know. Something like that. I get there before my appointment time at 9. Hopefully I don't have to wait a long time. And it got chilly out here, man. I got a sweater, <laughs> a sweater on, a shirt on up under that, and this hoodie, so I really ain't cold, but it's like 30 something degrees. That's why I got this, uh, what do y'all say, toboggan or toboggan? I say toboggan. A lot of people say toboggan. Hey, I'm from the country, whatever, man. But yeah, it's, it's chilly out here, man. But yeah, I get back with y'all when I get to, uh, well, I'm in Thomasville, but to the flat bed, this is a place. Yeah! All right, he just pulled up at nine o'clock on the desert. <laughs> we about to get unloaded, boys. We got action, yeah. 9.30 and we hurry up and wait. <laughs> Time to play the waiting game, man. It's a lot of us TMZ drivers in this area, so. uh, Yeah, man, just play the waiting game. There's three sitting over there already. It's, I don't know how many in there uh, waiting to get unloaded, so. 
Ain't no telling what order I'm in. I put mine in at nine o'clock when the guy pulled up. I should just put it in early. Uh, they be fussing about us putting it in too early, but it takes it take forever to get a load, man. So what you expect us to do, man? Put it in, and then you got you know a driver that's gonna get a load before you, and they ain't even unloaded yet. You know what I'm saying? That's why some drivers do it. I try not to do it, but. Man, that, that's the reason why, man. They wonder why we put our empty, empty in so early. It takes you so freaking long to get us a load, man. But uh, getting that directional freight and, you know what I'm saying, it's, it take a little while. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm just hurrying up and waiting. Yeah. So it didn't take too long. I got a uh, load about 9.52, about 20, 20 some minutes. Getting some tarp lumber out of New York, uh, New London, North Carolina. Uh, UFP, or PF, UFQ, PF, whatever. <laughs> Uh, on the um, points, West Virginia. Only got like a 51 mile bounce. So yeah, I should be home at a decent time today, man. As long as I get loaded at a decent time. But uh, yeah, man, I get back with you when I get to New London, baby. Yeah. So I went to check in. She's telling every driver that they need to <laughs> call and make an, uh, make an appointment. The driver that was in front of me, she told him the same thing. Uh, he just got delivery from, I don't know, seven to two or whatever. Same thing on mine, it says uh, pick up before two. He's telling all the drivers that they need to call and make an appointment themselves. Cause a lot of times on Friday, they try to make them, uh, these guys is loaded, get out of here like between 11 and 12 o'clock. On a Friday, like really? I guess they're trying to cut down, cut down on overtime, but I mean, that's too early, man. You ain't, <laughs> Some driver might have, you know what I'm saying, some kind of complications getting them loaded or whatever, man. Uh, yeah, man. So instead of telling us, really, she should be telling the company that. She need to be telling the companies, TMC or whoever else the companies is, is booking these loads. Because, I mean, <laughs> we work for a company, man. We ain't thinking about calling and, and, and trying to make no appointment. I mean, not unless we know, like, next time I might call. But other than that, I mean, ain't, ain't no company driver going to be thinking about calling and making no appointment for their, you know what I'm saying, for themselves. He's thinking the company already got that straight. If it's saving for two, then that's what it is, for two. But yeah, man, they need to get up with TMC on that, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, hey, I get back with y'all when I get, when I start getting loaded, baby. I got about two guys uh, working on each truck, man. They, they move pretty quick. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know who I'm gonna get some of that tarp stuff back there or some of that. Mine gotta be tarp, so uh, everybody leaving out of here without tarp uh, lumber. So, driver right there just pull it out. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna get, man. <laughs>